Hi there and welcome to this free tutorial from Soundmagus at musicproductionvideos.com This is due to a request in our music production group on Facebook Basically someone's asked me to show them side chaining So that's what I'm going to do I'm going to show you side chaining in Cubase With um, FabFilter Pro C Which can be used in any DAW as long as you know how to do the routing correctly it can be a bit complicated in Cubase. I'm also going to show you how to use Twisted Lemon Sidekick. And I'll show the native Cubase side chaining. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so this is Cubase. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is FabFilter Pro C because it's the most complicated. So, for FabFilter Pro C, what we need to do is create a group channel. But it's a quadro group channel. So we create that. And it looks like this. It's got this weird panning section here. So the next thing we need to do is go to Devices, VST Connections. Again, if you're using Logic or Ableton, there'll be a way of doing this. In Cubase, we go to Group Effects, or Group Slash Effects, and there should be Group 1. What you need to do now is right-click and add the child buses. So add the stereo and the stereo left-side, right-side buses. So it should then look like this. Excellent. So when you've done that, and you've decided what it is that you're going to use for your sidechain, or what it is that you want sidechained, in this instance, I'm going to sidechain the bass to a kick pattern. So what we need to do initially is find our bass sound. which is here, and we need to send that to the stereo group. So as you can see, this is being sent. Sorry, as you can see, this is being sent to this group here. Okay. The item that we want to sidechain it to, or with, in this case, I know it says closed hi-hat there, but it's actually any pattern you like, you need to send that to the stereo left side, right side, or the sidechain. Okay, so once you've done that, you can then add your plugin. And in this case, it's the FabFilter Pro C brackets SC for sidechain. Now it opens up like this. What you need to do is click on Expert Mode and select External. What that then does is gives you this little sidechain section. If I hit Audition, I should hear, well, I would hear, let me just... Okay, so it's that hi-hat. That hi-hat's what I'm actually side-chaining this with. Which is right. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, again, external, and I press play, let's see what happens. Not a lot. Okay, probably got something to do with the settings. Let's bring the threshold right up. pump in there. Okay, now it's really pumping. But down here we've got a left side chain level and a right side chain channel and left side chain mix and right side chain mix. So there 
there you go. Not as difficult as you might have thought, but that's it. That's it working. Just turn that off. Let me just unmute these. Okay, the next one is using Sidekick. Which is this twisted lemon sidekick for again just side chaining um, and we'll use the same signal again it doesn't really matter you'll get the drift so this time we have a pad of use let's use the kick so we've got a kick drum I'm gonna put a side kick on that but we want it on make sure it's turned off because we don't want to compress the kick and as you can see it's still being sent to the bus even though it's turned off so we want to side chain the Omnisphere pad. So we add a side kick, turn it on. There you go, it's working straight away. All you need to make sure is this is the kick, it says send input one. You just make sure that it's number one here. If you change that, it doesn't work. So just make sure that's the number one. There you go. Easy, huh? A lot easier than the last one, that's for sure, although there's less control. Pulsing track already. And that was easy, just mess around with the threshold. You can use the gate, uh, the drive to make it louder. But the the release will the release will kinda smoothen it out. Actually makes it disappear. But there you go. So that was very easy. Now you've got to make sure that they're on ducking as well. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Just make sure they're on ducking. Keying is more like gating, which I'll show you now. So again, you've got, so I've got the bass. I'll just change that to stereo out. Okay, so there's my bass pad. Okay, so if I either side kick onto that. Sorry, I keep doing that back to front. I have a side chain channel here. Okay, 
Again, it's just a kick with an extra couple of little bits at the end. Let's just. So, activate the side kick, make sure it's turned off. Then add the side kick onto your bass channel. And again, look for the, the buses. So this one's sending to bus 5, so that needs to be on 5. So, okay. But that's the same as the last time. So we actually want it to be keying. So check. So what we've got is a rhythmic gate. But obviously it's got this. So if I was to make that a little bit more interesting, not too interesting, I don't. So just to make a, a little arpeggiator perhaps. Right. Okay, now at me, obviously that's a bass, it's probably not the greatest sound to do it with, but so if we take this over here, it might sound better on this synth. So as you can hear, So there you have it. Very easy to use the sidekick. And last but not least, just the I'll show you how to do it with the normal Cubase stuff. So let's say we have the the cl I'll do the classic one. So we've got the bass. And I've got a kick. So, compressor, put it into side chain mode, on the kick, go to the bass, put it on the sends, oh I'm so dumb, I do that every time. The compressor should be on the bass because that's what you want to side chain or that's what you want to affect with the side chain then on the sends just add the bass the send chain in and then there we go the kick drum that's the kick drum compressing or side chaining the bass 
Okay, so this has just been three different ways of compressing, or sorry, should I say side-chaining, using Fab Filter Pro C, Sidekick 4, and Cubase's Native Compression. Also, can you hear that when I speak, the volume drops? One two, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two. Basically, I've got a compressor on the output channel, the master out, set to sidechain mode. This is my mic input here, which has been routed to this audio channel. This audio channel has then got the send for this compressor with the sidechain active so that whenever I talk the audio dims basically that's what you hear them using on the radio it's called ducking okay I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next tutorial